and he talks to people that lived in Chavez Ravine and lost their homes, and he becomes politicized, and so now that's a catalyst for him to create change. In, 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 in some ways, you know, the film is rough and crude and, and sophomoric, but the heart is, is, is powerful, and to read the story from a man that was 16 years old. So um, we can talk more about the issues in Echo Park after and, and, and the city as, as a whole, but using this as a vehicle. So we'll, we'll show two more pieces, very um, different pieces, very different energy, different feel, but I think relevant for this discussion. The next film was made by Ava Hess, um, a young lady that always um, warms my heart because whenever we ask, Ava, where are you from? She says, well, my mom's from Iran, my dad's from Wisconsin, which is kind of cute, like Wisconsin's its own um, kind of entity, but um, she made a film um, interviewing, well, I shouldn't, it speaks for itself, but the film is, um, it's subtitled when, when her relatives speak in Farsi and some of it's in English, so um, there'll be some subtitles, but it's called Not not in, not in the war, excuse me, and it's about eight minutes, so we'll watch that next. اسم من جاله رسولیه من در احواز متولد شدم پدرم افسر بود و ازدواج کردم در ایران صاحب یک دونه دختر دارم و به خاطر اینکه دخترم ادامه تحصیل بده ما با هم به امریکا اومدیم حدودا نزدیک شاید 17-18 ساله در امریکا زندگی میکنم دو بار تونستم برم فامیلم ویزیت کنم هیچ وقت نمیتونم بعد از سالها زندگی اینجا و ازدواج با یک مرد امریکایی فامیل خودم و سنت خودم و آداب و رسوم خودم فراموش کنم بعد تو خوشحالم اینجا ولی همیشه نگران بقیه فامیلم هستم که در ایران زندگی میکنم من به عنوان یه ایرونی و با یک مرد امریکایی که زندگی میکنم هر وقت میشینیم راجع به اینکه اخبار نگاه میکنیم و راجع به جنگ چیزی میشنویم هر دومون از این موضوع خیلی ناراحتیم فرق نمیکنه از هر دو طرف برای تمام بچه های جوون امریکایی که به جبهه میرن کشته میشن و جنازه هاشونه برای پدر مادرشون میارن من خودم جای یکی از اون پدر مادرها میذارم که چه احساسی دارم و فرق نمیکنه همینطور بچه ها و جوانای عراقی کشته میشن در هر کجای دنیا که جنگ باشه جنگ چیز خوبی نیست و این جنگ ایران و عراق هیچ وقت هیچ موضوعی به نظر هر دوی ما حل نکرد نه برای امریکا نه برای عراق برای که برای هر دو طرف هم بدتر شد و ما توی اجتماعی که زندگی میکنیم میدونیم که هر فردی در اون اجتماع یه حقی داره و این در حق یک انسانه که خودش تصمیم گیری کنه برای آیندش برای وقت اجتماعش برای جایی که توی زندگی میکنه و ما نباید اجازه بدیم که تمام تصمیم گیری های کسانی دیگه برای ما بکنن و بعضی وقتا هم که میبینیم که این تصمیم گیری ها خیلی غلط و ما همه از این تصمیم گیری ها زجر میکشیم ولی نمیدونم مثل اینکه چاره ای نداریم ولی فکر نمی کنم که این عقیده های شخصی هر کسی بتونن با هم جمع بکنن و یک اجتماعی درست کنن یا غلط کنن چون که این, این خیلی مشکله این نتیجه گیری چندانی نخواهد داشت ولی دیگه نمی دونم باید چی کار کرد This is Bita Taba Tabai, 42 years old and I grew up in Iran I moved to the United States in 1979 when I was 17 years old. A lot of people think um, it's a necessary work to do a lot of good or helping people because they really don't understand the logistics that's going happening right now. And they see it as a symbol of patriotism to agree with everything uh, the government does. What I don't understand, nobody discusses this war. Uh, there is a here and there uh, demonstration but I think if there is a war happening with the United States and with another country and every day there are American soldiers and Iraqi soldiers or civilians are dying, nobody's talking about it. But if I talk about it, then that seems I'm an anti-American. It would affect also our children in the future in terms of um, the image of Americans not being caring and worrying about other people in the world. If American society has been having the same consumer society 
for years and they didn't have to go to war. It's a corporation war. It's a war uh, for all the profits for the government. And changing your lifestyle, it's not going to change anything in a international politics. Um, my name is Fatima Burns, and I, I was born in Iran, and I'm a first-generation immigrant to the United States. Um, I am 48 years old, an artist, an educator, uh, married, and I have four children. You want to know my opinion about war? And uh, in general, being an artist and very sentimental, uh, war is not a very pretty picture. The, the only problem is that I have to explain to my children why there is a war and is difficult, and also not to feel bad and sympathetic toward families who they lose their children. I don't think the reason is uh, uh, humanitarian um, because I see quite many different messages and um, a lot of hypocrisy on behalf of our government. And also, uh, when you, you look at different societies and different people's needs, it definitely has to be observed in context. And I don't believe that has been done, you know, especially with this particular war. Individuals, how we live our life, definitely affects in the whole picture. I, I do have uh, quite faith in the power of education. I'm an educator, and what you teach your children, communicate to them, and in general, as a society, the more we know and uh, the closer we are truthfully to, to others, you can function better accordingly, relatively. But that's very idealistic, so there won't be more. But human nature, I mean, I, I can't justify that and say, well, um, how am I going to change? How, how, how could I perform to make a change or make wars don't happen? I wish I knew, but I will continue to teach my children that to, to have faith, to, to look for peace, to, to be aware of people around them. And um, if they have to be in a position to have power and to make decisions, those, to be truthful, to be real. Hi, my name is uh, Goldriz Vahdani. Um, I'm 27 years old. I live in Calabasas, California. I was born in Iran, and I came to the United States when I was five years old. What are my opinions on this war? Um, I definitely think that this war was somehow fabricated to um, further U.S.'s interests in the Middle East um, for one reason or another, whether it be oil, whether it just be hegemonic dom dominance. Um, I don't know, I haven't really decided if it's a combination of all of those, but it's definitely not a war that I agree with. Um, and I, I say that as an American and an Iranian. Um, how does my day-to-day -day life um, affect this war? It, it probably actually affects the war in very many ways. Unfortunately, um, and I, I hate to be a hypocrite, I drive a big SUV. I have to buy a lot of gas, an expensive gas, that I think directly affects the war. Um, I like to wear nice clothes. Um, maybe the clothes I wear are made in um, semi-peripheral countries. A lot of things that we are not certain of or we don't consider affect the war. Maybe the places that we shop, big corporations that, are, that support this administration and support the war. Maybe, you know, Walmart, for example. If I've shopped there ever, I think I've probably put money and therefore supported the war.